weekend traffic stop in Kennebunk turns into a life-saving encounter. WMTW News 8's Paul Merrill joins us now live from Kennebunk with an interview that you only see right here. Paul. Gavin Falconer goes by Scotty. He just turned 84 earlier this month, and he is a lively guy. But when he got pulled over by a Kennebunk police officer on Saturday evening, he slumped over lifeless. No breathing and no pulse. I've been lucky all my life. You don't often hear someone say he was lucky to be pulled over for speeding, but Scotty Falconer's weekend traffic stop may have just saved his life. The 84-year-old doesn't remember much after handing over his license and registration, but his wife tells him he slumped over the wheel, and the officer who had pulled him over sprung into action. He came running back, saw me there, yanked me out of the car, ripped my beautiful pink shirt, but that's all right, it was old anyway. Um, and I guess I was gone. No pulse, nothing. And he started giving me CPR. That CPR and the shock from a defibrillator brought Scotty back to life. He woke up in the hospital where he's still nursing some pain. You ever watch those old cowboy movies and they're a brawl in the bar? I feel like I was a guy who was getting beaten up. Scotty says he and his wife were heading out of town on Saturday evening to get some ice cream. They were driving this part of Fletcher Street where the speed limit is 25. I'm not a careless driver. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I have a heavy foot. Scotty's wife had a surprise for him after he regained consciousness in the hospital. She says, you, you got a ticket. I says, no. Yeah, yeah. It was a warning. I said, well, that's all right. I can live with that. <laughs> At least you're living, right? That's right. That's right. Officer Matthew Harrington is the one who pulled Scotty over and likely saved his life. You know, we always say there's no such thing as a routine traffic stop, but obviously, you know, day after day you stop cars. Uh, they do become fairly routine, so when you're thinking you're just going to give a guy a warning and next thing you know you're doing chest compressions in the middle of rush hour traffic, it's a little, uh, a little overwhelming. <laughs> Scotty hasn't seen Officer Harrington since Saturday, but tells us he's looking forward to meeting him under different circumstances. First thing I was saying was, thank you. It's a hot ticket, and in the officer's defense, he tells us he had already started to write up that warning before things took a turn and Scotty went into cardiac arrest. Live in Kennebunk tonight, Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.